Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live and a lovely scene here from our home of economy camera in Devil's Lake. Still some twilight out there at 1010 and temperatures starting to go in the right direction. Many of us starting out in the teens and 20s this morning. Right now out at Moorhead, we have 48. It's 46 at Hector. Wind very light from the northeast and worth noting that dew point temperature. Now the dew point is what we have to cool the air down to for the air to become saturated. But what's in the 20s is very dry. And oftentimes on a calm, clear night, we can see our air temperatures get down pretty close to those dew point values. So are more 20s in store? Well, for some, they will be. Right now we have 41 in Bemidji, 39 for Bedette. We have 46 in Hallock and mid 40s as well in the Cheyenne River Valley. Gwinter at 45. Devil's Lake, by the way, 40 degrees. Crystal clear skies as we headed to the overnight hours. Quiet here. We have to look all about 500 miles into the mountains of southern Wyoming and Colorado before we see some snow and rain. For us, no snow in the forecast, but it is going to cool off and become chilly. By daybreak, some of us We'll be down in the 30s. I think we'll get rid of those teens, but we could see an upper 20 briefly in places like Beltrami County, Clearwater County, and south into Wadena. Now, as we go through the morning hours, look at this. Our future uh, satellite showing no clouds whatsoever for our day, and that means midday temperatures will climb from near freezing well into the 50s for most near 60 for the rest heading into your afternoon. We'll have a wonderful day. Still crystal clear. Notice there's no wind arrows on here indicating a light wind as well. So beautiful 60s as we return to seasonable for this time of the year for the first time in several days. Once again, looking at the national picture, there's no weather near us of any significance for hundreds of miles. So a very quiet day starting out at 35 crystal clear light winds either southerly or southwesterly in Fargo. And basically, from about the midday hour all the way through your dinner hour and beyond, we'll be in the 60s with very light wind. Just a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Uh, even in Lakes Country and central Minnesota, where things will be cooler, we'll be very close to 60 degrees. And again, average temperatures for this time of the year, mid-60s, and that's right where we'll be in Grand Forks and in Fargo. Clearbrook, beautiful scene here. Clouds mixing with that. A uh, very fancy water tower there as we take a look at your Wednesday forecast. Breezy at 70 degrees as we really get to smiling through late week. Now on Friday, we lose some of that wind. We'll see temperatures in those low to mid 70s for many areas as we cap off the work week. Now, the next chance for any significant precipitation minus a spotty shower or thunder shower here to end the work week will be on Sunday. And right now, that doesn't even look like a big chance of rain. So I'm not counting on this being a significant impact to drought anywhere in our area. And in fact, we're mainly dry for the rest of the seven day period. You guys, it looks pretty good temperature wise. I know a lot of us could use some moisture. We may have to wait till the middle of next week before that returns. Well, we can enjoy what we're getting, right? You bet. Thanks. Visitation continues.